guys. Happy Sunday. I'm a little sick. If you can hear my, not like a head cold or chest cold going on or something. Um, but man, I got here. <laughs> I am in Colorado. I picked this load up in Missouri. I think the last clip you guys seen, I was on the border of Oklahoma and Arkansas. And it was when I was at a Love's. And I had to pick up the next morning. While well, I picked that load up, I delivered it to Kansas City, Missouri. And from there, I grabbed a load from Nebraska to here in Colorado. Um, I am here in Colorado right now. It's a two-stop load. My first stop is where I'm at. And it is super tight. It's hard to see because it's dark. I'm going to put a picture up on the screen of the shipper. But, oh my gosh, it is super tight. <laughs> I'm parked back here and like my truck is almost as long as the building. There's maybe like four feet. The building's four feet longer than my truck. There's absolutely, it's dark so you guys can't tell, but there is like nothing to pull up into up here. I don't know. I have about 6,500 pounds that I'm delivering to these people, Sarah Sausage. And I have no clue how they're going to even unload because... If you see here, let me show you the their little, it's not really even a dock, so I'm not going to call it that. But they're like little garage door. Look at that compared to my tall truck. Like there is no docks or doors that I can back into. I had to literally, it's like a little road that way. And I had to back up, I mean, come up this little hill, pull as far that way as I could wish it was light maybe i was supposed to deliver in about 15 minutes and there's absolutely nobody here nobody's answering the phone but there's no cars here nothing is happening um but i have no clue how they're gonna get their product off the back of my truck and i'm slightly not even sure if how i'm gonna swing i might have to swing and then back up and then try to go back straight the little road that you know the just the street it's not really a street the road that is in front of this place is not wide at all um and then <laughs> it's just a mess this i think is the tightest space i know i made a video back in california when i was going to a shipper that looked super tight this is the tightest place i've ever been in like there is absolutely no room like there is no business for a big truck to be delivering here they need those small straight trucks that aren't as long as mine that are maybe half the size as my truck this is crazy but if it gets light by the time i finish here i'm gonna try to show you guys again just so you can see the madness of it all on a sunday sunday morning but and it's cold there's still snow on the ground when i got into um Colorado yesterday from Nebraska I took the 80 most of the way <clears throat> and then the 76 in the Colorado it started snowing it only snowed for about maybe 30 minutes 40 minutes and then it hasn't snowed since but it's freezing out here but I was just checking in with you guys you're up to date now my second stop I deliver at noon um, at King Super Yes, and I've been there a few times. That's a nice size facility, so that won't be difficult. But this place, this place, it's like, how dare they order something on a big truck? <laughs> but I'll check back in with you guys later, let you know how I got unloaded or what happened. All right, guys. Sunday, everybody. Tiny House streaming here. I have not been making clips. I'm coming back to the back of the trailer because it's so windy. I was trying to block the wind a little bit. But I have not been making clips for the last couple days because I have been sick. I think I got like some kind of sinus infection or like chest cold. Because I've just been coughing and blowing my nose like crazy. But today I feel a lot better. I still feel it a little bit like low energy, but a lot better. So I am on my way up. But I think the last time I checked in with you guys, I was in delivered in Colorado and I actually tried to take a clip there I don't know if I'm gonna put it in um, if I do I'll add it in right after this but um, 
it was windy and dark so I have to actually look at the footage I shot to see if it's you guys can even hear me or see me but I was in a super tight spot so if I do add the clip you guys will see it and I'll put the little screenshot oh my gosh that place it didn't have docks to back up in the guy had to actually like get the forklift I had to have help him pull the pallets to the edge of the trailer so he could put the forklift under there lift it up um, it was <laughs> it was a mess I don't know why these small places I mean I've made a video I think when I was in LA about a small place but this place is crazy um, but I delivered two loads in the, my last load was Denver and from Denver I came here to Kansas where I'm at right now I spent my I actually got out here about six o'clock in the morning it was a dropping hook so I picked up my load and got everything done about 7 a.m. and I've been sitting here just to finish my 10 hour break because it took me about seven to eight hours to get from Denver Colorado here to where I'm at in Kansas now I'm trying to think of the city name I'm in I can't remember it's like a small little place I picked up a meat load and it's literally literally right on the other side of this loves um, but I spent my 10 hour break it's about almost five o'clock about 4 50 right now so um, I'm doing my I'm out here doing my pre-trip I just opened my trailer tails before I started the video or before I went to grab my phone to start the video I'm just curious how many people that have trailer tails actually open them and drive with them open because you know it is a fuel savings it's not a significant amount if you're looking at it in little increments I think it's like a three percent fuel savings when you drive with your trailer tails open but if you kind of look at it over the course of a year you can save about a thousand bucks so that's pretty cool I'm just curious how many people actually drive with them open that have them on their trailers because I see so many trucks driving down the road that have them but they're always closed um, but since I'm feeling better I will start checking in with you guys this load that I'm leaving here in about five minutes um, I'm headed my ultimate destination is Michigan and I cannot pronounce the name it starts with an M the name of the city but I can't pronounce it even when I look at it I can't remember it off the top of my head but even when I look at it I'm like what how do you say that um, but my first stop is Tip City Ohio and that's due today is Monday that's due Wednesday early morning and then the next morning early morning I'm due in Michigan um, so I'll be checking in with you guys along the way. I hope everybody's having a beautiful day. Hopefully nobody was having any sicknesses like I was. But um, I'm back. So have a good one, guys, and I'll check in with y'all later. Bye. Hey, guys. So I made it to whatever that city is that I can't pronounce here in Michigan. Although it's a bunch of croc because this is Detroit, okay? If you look on the map, Google map, I'm like right in Detroit. I don't know where they getting this, whatever city. I'll put the name up here, but this is Detroit. And when I looked at the notes for this shipper, oh, my hair is in my face, I'm sorry. When I looked at the notes for this shipper, not shipper, receiver, it said definitely don't park on the streets and the exits because there has been recent cargo theft um, they said you can park in the shipper or the receiver's uh, parking lot, which is where I'm at now. I've actually already been unloaded, but I'm locked in the gate until at least midnight. But by midnight, my time will be up, so I'll probably just stay until I get a load. Um, but I'm going to stop rambling, you guys. I hope everybody has a good night. I'm going to try to grab something to eat, like maybe a salad. I went to Walmart on my way here. There's a cool Walmart in... Oh, why can't I think of the city? Um, it's right up the street from Tip City. It's like five exits away. Um, going eastbound on the 75. And it starts with the K. But their Walmart, that Walmart is pretty cool just because like if you pass up the main driveway that the cars go in, um, there's a big lot on the side that like at least 30 or 40 trucks can fit in. So that was like super easy to get in and out of. There wasn't a lot of trucks. There was like parking. It's literally right like you ain't got no long walk to get to Walmart. So I stopped there um, because it was so short to get here, like only less than 200 miles. So before I actually started my trip here, I stopped at that Walmart 
um, and got some more um, allergy medicine and picked up a little few things to put in the fridge and then I stopped at Pilot and took a shower I love showers <laughs> but anyways have a good night guys I will talk to y'all later I'll let you know where I'm headed on my next video bye